Meet Josh. Josh has two tickets to this afternoon's ball game. Josh invites his friend Jake to go with him. But Josh's mom is running errands and they have no way to get to the game. Then Josh had an idea. Hey Jake, you ready to head to the ballpark? Uh, where's your mom? Who's taking us? UTA. Uh, what's UTA? The Utah Transit Authority, you know it, the buses and trains. Oh, those. UTA lets me get where I want to go. Along with buses and trains, UTA also has commuter rail, paratransit, and ride share. Paratransit? Is that anything like paratroopers? Paratransit is a special bus for those with disabilities. And ride share is where people use UTA vans to carpool to work. Let's head to the game and I'll show you that by following a few safety rules, UTA is a great way to get around. But remember, rules aren't just for kids, they're for adults too. But a lot of times they seem to forget. So how do we know which bus to take? Good question. UTA has hundreds of buses, but they make it simple to know how to get where you want to go. Let's back up and I'll show you how. All the information we need can be found on RideUTA.com. What if you don't have access to the internet? That's no problem. You can always call 1-888-RIDE-UTA and someone at UTA will help you get the same information. Here's how we get it online. On RideUTA.com, you just click plan a trip and then fill in where you are and where you want to go. Then it asks you about what time you want to arrive. The game starts at 7, so let's say we want to be there at 6.30. Here's one that gets us there by 6.37. It tells us which bus we need to catch, what time, where the bus stop is, and how much the fare will be. We'll take the bus to the track station, and then the tracks to the ballpark station. Sweet! Then let's go ride a bus. Here comes the bus now. Uh, how do you know this is the right bus and we won't end up in the wrong place? You look at the route number on the front, and you can always ask the driver if you want to be sure. That makes sense. Here's our bus. Bus drivers don't carry change. So make sure you always have the exact fare. And if you need one, ask the driver for a transfer ticket when you get on the bus. Uh, what's a transfer ticket? A transfer ticket lets you get onto another bus or tracks to get to your destination. Remember, bus tickets are only one way. You'll need another one to get yourself back home again. May I get a transfer ticket? Sure. There you go. Thank you. Hey, can I get one too, bus driver lady dude? There you go. Never run to get a seat. There's always some place for you to sit or stand. And leave the seats in the front for the elderly and disabled. The most important thing to remember when riding public transit is that it's for everyone to use. We now interrupt this program for another episode of Adults Behaving Badly. Excuse me, you might want to put those on after you get off the bus. Whatever, kid. Right. It's never safe to wear rollerblades or stand on a skateboard on a bus or train. Always take off your skates and put on shoes before boarding a train or bus. And never skate or ride a bike on train platforms. When you want to get off the bus, pull the cord and the bus will stop at its next stop. If you want to get on a bus, make sure you're standing at the bus stop so the driver will see you. Remember, you should never push or shove. Wait a minute, hold it. What do you mean? Well, at a bus stop. As long as you're at the stop, the bus driver will wait for everyone to get on. If you miss the bus, you should never run after it. It's much safer to wait for the next one. We're almost to the track station. Once there, we'll learn about light rail safety. Remember, when you get off the bus, if you need to cross the street, let the bus drive away before crossing. Because unlike school buses, traffic does not wait for UTA buses. There 
are a number of rules you should remember about tracks. Unlike buses where you pay your fare on the bus, you need to buy a ticket for the tracks from the vending machine on the platform or have a transfer ticket you receive from the bus driver. Also, there are some additional safety rules for the train. For example, you shouldn't stand in front of the yellow line. Man, aren't you Mr. Rules? It's just a train. How dangerous can it be? Actually, they can be quite dangerous. Bill, who works on the tracks chains, will show you just how much damage a train can do. This is the tracks maintenance facility where the trains are worked on and stored when they aren't running. Trax trains transport thousands of people across the Salt Lake Valley every day. It's easy to forget that they are extremely large pieces of machinery that weigh far more than any car or truck on the road. For example, an average Trax car weighs 90,000, 90,000 pounds. That's 45 tons, and that's more than three semi-trucks. As a Trax train pulls into a station, it's traveling around 30 miles per hour. It may not seem too fast, but with the amount of weight behind it, it could still do a lot of damage to anything that got in its way. Look what happens with just one Trax wheel. As you can see, it's not a pretty sight, and that's just one wheel. Imagine what would happen with the whole train. This is why standing behind the yellow line at the track stations is so important. Even if a small part of the train were to hit you, you could be seriously injured or even killed. You should also never walk on the train tracks. Light rail trains have electric motors that are very quiet. Trains can approach very unexpectedly. Anything on the track when a train comes by is not going to survive. See, this is why you need to follow the rules around the trains. Okay, maybe rules are important. I hope you don't think the rules are too much trouble. No, they're just trying to keep me safe. Come on, let's get on the train. Hey, Mr. Rules, aren't you supposed to wait until the train has come to a complete stop? Yes, once a train has come to a complete stop, it's perfectly safe to approach and board. Let's get on. Just like on the bus, find yourself a seat and enjoy the ride. We've talked about safety rules, but there are also courtesy rules we should follow. It's time once again for adults behaving badly. Hey, you should sure never yell on the train or bus, either into your phone or at anyone keyboard. traveling with you. I'd hate to work for that guy. Listening to music with headphones is fine, but try turning it down, sister. Whoa, get those stinky feet off the seats. It's not courteous or pleasant. It's okay to keep food in a bag, but you're getting a secret sauce all over the seats. So courtesy is good and all, but when should we give up our seats and when not? You should always give up your seat for the elderly, someone who's pregnant and the table. For on a crowded train, it's okay to give up your seat just to be nice. Remember, when you're standing on a train, hold on to the handrail. Trains often make sudden movements that can cause you to lose your balance and fall. Oh, if a UTA police officer comes by, make sure to have your tracks ticket or transfer ticket from the bus. Are you guys in there? Hi, my name is Officer Talbert. I'm with the Utah Transit Authority. I'm one of their police officers. Now, you guys are probably wondering why the Utah Transit Authority would need a police department. The answer is very simple. That's to keep you guys safe when you're riding our system. Just as the Highway Patrol protects you on the highways and freeways, UTA police officers protect you on UTA buses and trains. One of the most important safety laws that we enforce is trespassing. Now, trespassing is when you're walking on a railroad track, not in a designated crosswalk. We enforce this because we want you to be safe while you're riding our system. We want to keep you guys away from oncoming trains and from other cars that are driving along the tracks line. Another one of our responsibilities is checking for fare evasion. Now, fare evasion is when you do not have a valid ticket to be on our bus or our train. It is also important to remember that horse playing is not allowed. You never want to push others or hang from the straps. Also, be courteous when you're around other people and don't use offensive language. Simply remember, always be respectful when you're riding the UTA system. And if you have any problems, you feel unsafe, 
or you have any questions, you can always talk to a transit police officer, an operator, or any other UTA employee. Oh, here's our stop. trains and buses before boarding. One last safety tip, never throw anything at the wires running above tracks. They supply the power to the trains and are extremely dangerous. Well, I hope you learned something about public transit. If you forget what we did today, you can always visit RideUTA.com for more information. Yeah, using UTA was way easy. Great, let's go to the game. So that's how Josh and Jake got to the ballpark. Tune in next time when they attempt to make it to Lagoon. <laughs>